They walked and hiked and trudged along. They ran and trekked. The bunnies riled. They panted and puffed and had to stop. In front of them was the sea. Pharaoh called for his menacing men and gathered a huge army. They left their homes, rivers and gold, springs and gardens green. We've caught them, they said, but Musa believed. With me is my Lord; He will guide me. Prophet Musa, Pharaoh, and the Great Escape. This story has been taken from Stories of the Prophets by Ibn Kassir and has been reviewed for authenticity by Lukme Sharia Advisory Board. They descended from the family of a noble prophet who ruled the land. Times changed, and now they were slaves in the very country they'd lived for generations. More people for digging? No problem. Get more of those bunny Israel chaps. Pharaoh and his men were extremely cruel to bunny Israel, because Pharaoh claimed he was God, and bunny Israel believed in Allah. Until one day, a tall young man came to save his tribe. He came with miracles and a message from Allah. He was the prophet of Allah, Musa. Upon him be peace. Believe in Allah, said Musa, and let Bunny Israel go with me. I will not let them go anywhere. What you're showing is magic, and I can bring similar magic to defeat you, Pharaoh. Challenged Musa to a match with his royal magicians. Musa won, and the magicians became believers when they saw his miracles. My lord, we must do something about Musa and his people. Musa will corrupt everyone's mind. He is preaching everyone to stop worshiping you and worship his god instead. The end of those magicians should have been enough of a lesson. These people are very foolish. If he takes Bunny Israel away, he'll do all our work. Silence! Kill all the baby boys in Bunny Israel. Spare the girls. That ought to show them. My lord. Oh no! Oh no! They're here! They're here! My baby! Hide him! Shh! Now please don't make any noise! Come on! Out! We know you've got a boy in there! Huh! Next house! Musa! You always bring trouble! Pharaoh killed our boys when you were born, and now you've come as a prophet! And he's killing them again. Be patient, Musa reassured his tribe. If you've believed in Allah, you must trust him. Soon, he'll destroy the enemy and give you power in the land. The ultimate reward is for those who are mindful of Allah. We do trust Allah. <laughs> Our Lord, do not make us a victim of the unjust people, and save us, through your mercy, from the disbelieving people. Musa was faithful and Musa believed. I'll finish off Musa and all this trouble. Do what you like. Show him who's God. Are you going to kill a man just because he says Allah is his Lord? But he's wrong. Allah is not our Lord. He showed you clear signs. Just leave him alone. If he's lying 
on his head, let him be. But if he's telling the truth and you harm him, I fear all his punishment will come down and there'll be no one to save us. Someone's impressed by Musa. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Have you forgotten Yusuf? He preached the same. I just told you what I think was best. The pharaoh was stubborn as a mule. He decided to show the Egyptians he was God. He ordered his trusty chief engineer, Harman, to construct a towering structure. Phew! How much longer is this going to be? This is such a stupid idea. Nearly done now. Stop blabbering, you lazy men. My people, I welcome you all to the tallest tower in the world. I am going to climb it and go look for Musa's lord. If there is any, that is. <laughs> that sure is a mighty tower. Pharaoh's making a fool of himself. There was no god up there. I am your lord, and there's no one more powerful than me. Pharaoh and Harman are deceiving the people. Oh. Confiscate the animals. These beggars have not paid their taxes. Don't forget, you were one of us, Karun. You started oppressing your own tribe. I, unlike you, was clever enough to stay in Pharaoh's good books. So I, unlike you, get to do whatever I want. Don't be boastful. It's Allah who gives power and wealth. <sighs> you can be fooled with those ideas. Not me. Not today. Not ever. I earned it because of my own knowledge. Hmm. Pharaoh and his men continued to oppress Musa and Bunny Israel. My people, seek help with patience and prayers, Musa advised his tribe and gave them tidings of good days ahead. My lord, rain has destroyed the crops. That's a huge loss for the economy. Hmm. It may lead to a famine. It's all because of Musa and his men. He's brought bad luck. Oddly, the farms of Bunny Israel weren't affected at all. Could it be the punishment Musa said would come? Huh? <gasps> punishment? These are his magic tricks. The famine continued for weeks and months, and the people couldn't take it any longer. Pharaoh had to make a decision. I have come to you with a message from Pharaoh. He has promised to believe in your Lord and send Bunny Israel with you if you ask your Lord to remove this famine. Musa made dua to Allah and asked him to remove the famine. Allah answered his dua and soon the land was flourishing. Economy is booming. The crops are even better than before, my lord. Are you really going to send Bunny Israel with Musa? <laughs> of course not. The famine is over. We don't owe him anything. Oh my lord, what is that? Swarming locusts, run! When Pharaoh refused to believe, Allah sent a swarm of locusts to teach him a lesson. The locusts munched on all their crops, and again, Pharaoh had no other choice. <laughs> Oh, 
I have come to you with a message from Pharaoh. He has promised to believe in your God and send Bunny Israel with you if you ask your Lord to remove these locusts. Allah answered Musa's dua and removed the locusts. But instead of fulfilling his promise, Pharaoh returned to his old ways. A few days later, Allah sent another punishment as a sign. Ow! Ouch! These lice are killing me! So many lice! Where did they come from? There's lice in my soup! Ugh. This infestation will drive us mad! We must ask Musa for help! Did Pharaoh agree to let Bunny Israel go with Musa? Did he believe in Allah? To find out, watch the rest of the story on our website, www.lookmay.com.